the ways that you can support the Strategic Learning Networks is to provide learners with a choice in the way that they meet your learning goals. You may be thinking that providing choices sounds like a lot of work. Well, it doesn't have to be. As long as your grading criteria is focused on your learning objectives and not the format of the assignment, you can often use the same criteria to evaluate all types of assignments. Let me show you an example. This is from a middle school ELA class where students just finished reading The Book Thief by Marcus Zusak. There are a couple of goals for this assignment. The main goal is for students to cite specific textual evidence to represent the significance of identified characters from the story. Secondary goals are for the students to be creative and to demonstrate the power of words, which is a theme of the story. I could have asked students to provide evidence of meeting this goal by writing an essay, but this is a content goal that doesn't say how students need to provide evidence. They could do it by writing, but there are also many other ways that students could show me that they've met this goal. Let's take a look at the directions. First, the scenario. You are Lizel. You know that your final meeting with Death is not far away. It's important that Hans, Rosa, Rudy, Werner, and Max are not forgotten. In order for them to be remembered, you must create a tribute to share with your family. Now let's take a look at the task. In any way that you feel is fitting, create a tribute to share with your children and grandchildren. The tribute should demonstrate why Hans, Rosa, Rudy, Werner, and Max were such valuable people and let your family know how important each of them was to you and to the world. You may do this by writing a letter to your family telling them about your past, creating a photo story or prezi of your past, creating an illustration with a description, composing journal entries that were written when you were younger, creating a video where you share your stories, composing a song or poem, building a model, or you could write letters to Liesel from Hans, Rosa, Rudy, Werner, and Max. Important, you must personalize your tribute by including specific details, quotes, or descriptions from the story to support your memories about each character. This may take the form of a description or explanation to accompany your tribute. Also, you must incorporate and show the power of words in some way, so be creative. There are a couple benefits to providing students with choices. First, students have an opportunity to show you what they know in a way that's interesting and comfortable for them. Often when given choices, students put more effort and time into assignments because they're engaged. Another benefit is that instructors get to evaluate a variety of assignments, which is much more interesting than grading 30 essays. Let's take a look at the rubric for this assignment. Because the grading criteria focuses on the goal of the assignment and not the format, we can use one rubric to evaluate a variety of assignments. The first criterion is to include details about each of the characters, and the characters are listed so students can check them off. The second criterion is including supporting evidence from the text. In order to earn full credit, students need to provide specific evidence from the text to support memories of each of the five characters. The last criterion is creativity and quality. Here I provide specific information that outlines what must be included to earn full points. The assignment needs to demonstrate creativity and uniqueness, be high quality, creatively demonstrate the power of words, and have very few errors. Spelling and grammar aren't my learning goals here, so the grading criteria includes errors because it's part of what differentiates the exceeds expectations category from the meets or below expectations categories. But spelling and grammar are not the focus on the rubric, and they represent a small amount of the total points for the assignment. Another way to support the strategic networks is to provide support. There are many ways that you can support your students as they work toward your learning goals. For example, I could have students work in groups to discuss the directions and rubric for this assignment and brainstorm ideas for ways to create their tribute. Students will not only hear some great ideas from their peers, they will also have an opportunity to ask each other questions if there's something in the directions they don't understand. They can also share textual details that they might want to include. Another way I could provide support is to give students a graphic organizer and help them plan their assignment. This would support students by providing them with a place to gather details from the text. I could also provide support by having students do a self-evaluation or a peer evaluation using the rubric. Focusing on the rubric, students could give themselves or their peer a score for each criterion on the rubric and identify one area they feel is their strength and one area they feel that they could improve before their final submission. 
If it's a peer evaluation, they might also include a question that they have about the tribute or a suggestion for a way to improve it. Including each of these support activities, or all of them, will provide students with access points to help them be more successful.